the lake's wrap today, you guys. We got storms coming off the lake today. So, we're getting some thunderstorms today. Happy Sunday everyone at the cabin <laughs> yes we got lots to do today you guys lots to do we're gonna make a rhubarb pie we're gonna make deviled eggs fried chicken a little bit of macaroni salad and yeah it's going to be one of those busy Sundays in the kitchen want to come and cook with me you guys so we're going to make, start off first with making the rhubarb pie. We're going to make our own, our own, yes our own crust. So let's get started because it's only 8 o'clock in the morning but we got lots to do. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is get our, our deviled eggs going. So I always cook mine and lean into the pot. For my hard boiled eggs best way ever there is no other better way to cook hard boiled eggs if you ask me yeah so let's get those on first thing you're going to need is one and a half cups of crisco and we're going to use i'm going to use my food processor to make this dough my food processor comes with a dough hook and so, see that? Easiest thing ever to make pie crust if you got a food processor. Okay, you're going to need three cups of flour. Just put it all in the food processor. One egg going in. Okay, one teaspoon of salt. Uh, five tablespoons of cold water. One two, three, four, five, and then one tablespoon of vinegar. That's it. I'm going to blend this up 
on our food processor. My Ninja has a dough button right here. Oh, right here. There's my pie dough. Okay, I'm going to refrigerate it for a few hours, okay? That's the best way to get your pie dough to work, is you got to make sure it's refrigerated for a while. Mm -hmm. So it's going in the fridge. Okay, so I do the 555 method with my eggs in the Instapot. Uh, pressure cook 5, let it sit 5, and ice 5. And then they peel like wonderful. Don't believe how easy they peel. Just like butter. I keep it real simple for my um, deviled eggs. I'm only doing, uh, well, I'll end up with six. And the other two here are for my mac salad. So I just use all my spices. And, and I also put in um, chopped onion, dehydrated onion, mayo. Well, I use... Great value whip, and I use honey mustard. I keep it real simple. That's all I put in my deviled eggs. Okay, guys, I'm making mac salad, but I have not, for I don't know how long, added tuna to my mac salad. I haven't made mac salad like that, and I don't know. I can't even remember the last time. So I'm going to do that. I think, oh, it's been forever. I'm going to add tuna. I just add whatever I want to my salad. Celery, onion, eggs. You know, just, just do what you want. It's your salad. Do what you want. I'm going to go add the eggs and everything and I'll show you when I get it done. I threw all our leftover taco toppings in there and I threw all my spices in there and I'm going to put some cheese in there and I'm cooking bacon to put in there. Then we'll mix it all up. Okay, I'm going to cut my chicken into pieces for the fried chicken. I use my electric knife. Yeah, it's so much easier. Okay guys, that was so easy with an with electric knife. To cut that chicken whole chicken up you'll save yourself some money and it's so easy now I'm gonna spice it up with all my spices okay I have seasoned both sides and what we're gonna do is put it in our instapot for 20 minutes on pressure cook and then we are going to uh, take it out cool it down and we're gonna bread it and fry it this will make your chicken you know sometimes when you uh when you make fried chicken um it looks burnt you won't have to worry about it being not cooked when you deep fry it it'll be cooked it's 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 so tasty you guys have to try this 20 minutes in the instapot let's go Make sure you add your one cup of water in there, okay? Okay, we're going to cut our bacon up. It's, our bacon's done now. We're going to add our great value dressing. Mix it up. Put it in the fridge till dinner time. Mmm. Got to have a piece of bacon. It's going to be delicious. I had a little bit of dressing left in a bottle, ranch, so I threw it in, of course. <laughs> okay, our chicken's all done. We're going to let it cool before we get frying it. I'm keeping that smooth. Time to harvest some rhubarb.
Hi, honey. I need a couple eggs. Will you bring me some? Yeah, they do. Thank you. Love ya. <laughs> Beats having to go out and fish fly heaven. <laughs> He's he has his phone on him because the guy's coming by. When we got our roof done, they took the whirly birds off the whirly bird fence, and they were gonna keep them. And he's like, "No, those are mine." And uh, so he's finally put them for sale. And somebody's gonna come come buy them. And that guy can sell anything. He should be a salesman. Okay, I have my little dredging station here. Eggs and then flour. I put spices in the flour. I'm just going to dip the chicken flour. I might double dip. I'm not sure yet. And then we're going to put it all on this rack here. Okay, well, my chicken is sitting. I'm going to work on my rhubarb pie. It looks like we've got a good, a good um, harvest right here. I need six cups. I think I got a little more than six cups. What do you guys think? The rest will go in the freezer for later on. Yes. Okay, six cups of rhubarb, Michelle. Get moving. See, this is what you call being blessed. I went and read my book for a bit. I was going to come back to clean up the mess. And Bruce did it for me. He cleaned up my whole kitchen so I could make my pie now. Oh, I tell you. Blessed after, still after 37 years. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, what a nice guy. This is so, this was what makes me happy. These little things. And then he went to the pet store to get Coco's dog food. Because we were out of dog food. Because we all know what Coco's like at night. He's got to have his dog food. Or he won't stop barking. <laughs> okay guys, let's make our rhubarb pie. We need six cups of rhubarb I got cut up here. Let me get the rest of the stuff we need. It's real simple. Okay, you guys. Okay, we got six and a half, six and a half cups of rhubarb. What do we need? Oh, I hope I make it. One and a half cups of sugar. I'm very low on sugar. I'm just going to put it all in. <laughs> the only sugar I have left is the sugar I have in my sugar jar. A little bit in there. Yeah, I don't need that now. I need it. I have enough. Okay, then I'm going to need three tablespoons of cornstarch. One. Two. Three. Half a teaspoon of salt. That's it. We're going to mix that up. Okay. Just give that a good mixing. Get it all mixed in. Okay, then you're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. Pure vanilla. Mix that up and we're ready to put it in our pie shell. I'll get that out of the fridge now. Okay, so I have half of my 
half of my dough out. I'm going to roll that out, get it in the pie plate, and then I will roll the top out. Okay, so I'm going to put the, the filling inside. And then I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter on top. Doesn't that look good? I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to roll out the top and throw the top on. Okay, it doesn't say to put egg wash, but I wanted to because uh, I want to put some sugar on top. So I did it. <laughs> you don't have to do it if you don't want to. I'm going to put six slits in and then we're going to sprinkle the, I have some of this sugar, I'm going to put it on top. I've had this forever from the bulk barn and I never use it. So I thought, let's do it Michelle. Okay, we're going to put this in the oven at 425 for 25 minutes and then turn it down to 350 for 40 minutes. And then our pie will be ready. We will see you probably later when it's time to eat. Okay, we have southern fried chicken tuna macaroni salad, iced tea, deviled eggs, sweet pickles, and uh, right out of the oven, rhubarb pie. With, we're going to have with some vanilla ice cream. Let's eat, you guys. Okay, we'll fix our plates and we'll show you before we say goodnight. Okay, there's my plate. I'm going to put some hot sauce on my fried chicken. Look at that. Southern fried chicken, deviled egg, and a mountain of potato salad. Macaroni. Oh, macaroni, sorry. And the battery's going dead. I hope you like it, people. I'll let you know. Can you give me a um, napkin? We're bringing out the bear napkins. I just don't have room for the napkin holder on the table. Thank you, Pinkberry. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we will see you guys in the next video. We're going to go enjoy our beautiful yep, Sunday you're dinner. you're not going to see my butt that much uh, anymore. Yeah. Back to work tomorrow. The party's over. I'll show you the pie cut at the end of the video. Thanks for joining us, you guys. Hope you had a wonderful Sunday. Say goodnight, hon. Good night, hon. Good night, people. Hope you had a good Sunday. <laughs>